All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? And as you can see, I'm not in my gaming room. I am instead in my kitchen because this is going to be my cooking stream and today, or video, and today we are making cookies. All right, we're making some nice scrumptious cookies it's gonna take some time i'm gonna do some editing getting rid of the bits where i'm doing absolutely nothing but i hope this works because this is gonna take a long time and let me know if you enjoy this content because this can be some of the new content that i do it's just making random stuff whenever i want to the lighting might be terrible the camera quality might be terrible but you know what who cares as long as you get to see the final product that's all that matters so I'm gonna go get the uh, material stuff that I need to make this. All right, first, we need the flour, of course, because that's an essential. We got flour as well. Uh, wait, no, this is not flour, this is sugar. I literally just said flour a second ago. Uh, we got the sugar, because this is the main ingredient, obviously. And then we have brown sugar. Wait, uh, actually, we don't need brown sugar. All right, actually, so I'm kind of rethinking this. I'm not gonna make sugar cookies. I'm actually gonna make some peanut butter cookies uh, because one, I like peanut butter cookies better, and two, it's literally gonna take me like two hours to make that, and I don't really wanna do all that. So that's why we're gonna make some peanut butter. And we have the best peanut butter, Skippy. If you have the Jeff one, uh, All right, next we need the butter and we have a whole stick here, whole stick of butter. Okay, I'm gonna need to look up a recipe because I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't wanna waste all these ingredients if I have no clue what I'm trying to do. So we're just gonna look up a recipe and we're gonna go off of that. We're gonna look that up on my phone. All right, we also got the egg now. Uh, we just need one egg and then we need, oh wait, we actually need the brown sugar. We got the brown sugar, and now we need baking powder and vanilla extract. Boom, there we go. We have both of those now, and now it's time for the good stuff. Now it's time we look up how to make this. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. Also, I know my hair is ridiculously long. Look at that, it's long. All right, I get it, I need a haircut. I'm getting one soon, relax. 350 degrees, easy, just like that. Wait, we're chilling. All right, we're preheating, good. Uh, sift flour and baking powder together into a large bowl, then whisk to combine. All right, we got our bowl here. And you know what, I might bring the camera over there to show you. All right, so we need to sift the flour and baking powder in into a large bowl, then whisk the combine. All right, so we're gonna be smart about it. We're just gonna use the half one. Well, we're not doing half. Uh, that would be stupid. So, let's bring you over here. All right, we're good. We got it in a better spot. So we need three, <laughs> three of these things. I don't know why that was so hard to open. We got one, two, and three and a little bit because I didn't fill that one all the way. All right, and a little bit, because we were, yeah. Also, I have to keep looking over there. I'm just making sure that's still recording. Now, we need the baking powder, and I'm not sure exactly how much, but we need, oh wait, we need, uh, we need three-fourths teaspoon of baking powder, which means we're gonna need about three of these so let's just get that done and it looks like it's done also you you might see my dog every now and then but that's okay. uh, he's just walking around you know one two and three perfect just like that see you can follow along too you can listen to me ramble about this or you can make it yourself doesn't matter all right, so now we need to whisk 
We need to whisk them together. Just a little whisking, making sure that the flour is all graduated and stuff. So when we sift it later, that sift it. I don't know, whatever. When we make it later, that it's all already all organized. Step one, done. All the way. Done, done, done. All right, now we're on to step two. We need to cream the butter, graduated sugar, and brown sugar in a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attached. Add peanut butter and mix until incorporated. Why the hell is such a weird word? All right, now we got this big machine. We gotta plug, we gotta plug her in. It says to attach the paddle one, but we don't have a paddle one, so we're just gonna use this. We're operating big machines here, people. I... Did you hear that? It like, it like was a notification sound. Now I'm gonna put it back in, just like that. Bam. I need to read the recipe. So we need to, all right. We have the butter here, but we need to put it in here for a little bit of time because, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We need to make sure that the power level on this is set to one. Otherwise, the butter is going to melt everywhere. So. All right. We're setting it to one minute. It's on power level one or 10, whatever. So if the butter melts, and it goes everywhere, I'm sorry. Now we need the sugar and the brown sugar. All right, we need half a cup of the brown sugar. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Beautiful. The butter's done. Uh, it's not as melted out as I would like, so we're gonna try it for a minute again uh, because actually I think you're supposed to do two minutes. All right, we got our brown sugar. We're gonna pat it down. And now we need half a cup of sugar. And the butter, I would say is just about done considering it's leaking everywhere. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. Yeah, we have a little bit runny butter. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, gosh. Also, let me state this right away. I did wash my hands. And second, I'm cleaning up the entire mess. I'm not leaving the place a mess. All right. All right. The next thing we're going to do is have it stir. And just wait. Look at that. It looks beautiful it looks beautiful it the lighting is a little bad all right i understand but it's beautiful and that's all that matters all right the next thing it told us to do is to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract all right put that in and you know i like a little bit more vanilla extract all right it's not gonna hurt anybody it smells oh my it smells good you smell it. all right and then the next thing is the egg now I'm not the cleanest person when it comes to this cooking stuff, so this egg might fall in it. I don't want that. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. And now, we're gonna do the thing. Stir it one more time. All right, we need to add the flour mixture from this bowl into this pan mixture thingy, all right? So we're gonna turn it off for a second. Dang, that, oh man. I just have to show you this. Look how, oh gosh. Look how buttery and creamy that is. It's good, look at, look at that. I mean, come on now. All right, second time. Just like that. And let's, let's stir again. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. 
Alright, and now for the last time. Wait, am I forgetting something? Am I supposed to add peanut butter? Guys, I forgot to add the main ingredient. The peanut butter. I forgot. Boom, peanut butter. We need one cup of this, so let's just open this. All right, we got the whole thing of peanut butter. My dog would love this right now. But now we're gonna put this in because we forgot, like an idiot. All right, peanut butter down. Now we're just gonna add the rest of the flour as well. And we're gonna mix it all together and I'll show you the end product once we got this all done. Hello. All right, we got this all ready. Look at that. Let me show you that again. That, it may look bad on there, but I'm telling you right now, that shit is good. All right, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta use this sheet right here, and we gotta uh, roll them into one inch balls and put them on this sheet. I don't like using baking sheets, so I just like to use this butter. All right, I'm being fancy with this video. You can see my feet. <laughs> All right, anyways. I'm going to roll them onto that sheet, and I'm gonna make it so you can see uh, what I'm doing. Everything that I'm doing, I'm gonna make it so you can see it. That's one inch. We're gonna do that. And then, Place a fork in a crisscross pattern. That looks, I mean, oh, you can't really see that, but that looks perfect. These are what they're supposed to look like. All right, we just got all of them done. Well, at least the ones on this pan. And now we need to just put our fork and then we can actually stick them in the oven and get them done. I mean, come on now. That, I mean, that just looks amazing. Like, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. All right, we're going to stick them in the oven and then we're going to leave them in there for eight minutes and then I got to do the other thing, obviously. But after that, then we're done. All right, setting the timer to... Eight minutes. Now we gotta do the second sheet. We just rolled our second sheet. We got them all done. That took forever. I hate rolling out them. Now it's time to just wait for the cookies to be done. And they're gonna be done in four and a half minutes. So I'll see you guys once we got that all done. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do some talking because that's what I like to do. Uh, so as you guys may have seen or noticed, we're almost at a year from the first time that I posted a video. Now, yes, I've had my channel since technically December, but I didn't upload a video till February. Almost at a year on the channel, and we have done so much this year, but I plan to do so, so much this year. So much more different content, so much more content, and videos more like this because now I actually have a webcam, a decent mic, and just able to do a bunch of things. So it's it just makes it all that much better. We're gonna expect more videos like this, reactions videos, all that cool stuff because we definitely are going to do some more things like that. Now we just gotta wait for these cookies to finish being done and then we'll try them and see how they taste. Hopefully I didn't mess up too bad. All right, there's 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They should be done, maybe. Oof, da. 
Yeah, I get it, I get it. I mean, they look about done. I don't know if I should stick my camera. Whatever, I'm sticking my camera in there. Look at that. Mmm. Dang, those look so good. We're gonna leave it in there for about 30 more seconds. We're gonna leave it in there 30 seconds. All right, we're just gonna wait a couple seconds. Seconds, couple seconds, couple seconds, couple seconds. It should be done. Ooh, man. Man, those look good. All right, eight minutes for the second batch, but the first batch is done, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at those peanut butter cookies. Let's get really deep in there. Alright, we're just gonna wait a second. Uh, they're just really hot right now. Uh, I looked at the inside. It looks, I mean, eight minutes seems like a good time. And I left it in longer than it actually said. So, you know what? They should be done. And if they're not done. Oh gosh, I actually smacked the camera. All right, these have about four minutes left. I'm tired of waiting. I just want to eat my cookies, but they're still warm. All right, they're still warm. Who knows, they could even be raw. All right, I think they're about kind of done cooling. So now let's get ready to eat this thing. <laughs> Guys, this is the moment we have all been waiting for, the taste. We got our milk, and we got our cookie. Man, it smells, it smells so good. All right. All right, let's get a sip of our milk. We have our cookie now. That is so freaking good, oh my gosh. Man, have a little taste. That is, that's really, really good. All right, let's dip it in the milk. Ah. I'm not a fan of milk, by the way. But overall, this is really, really good. Uh, I'm almost certain it's not cooked all the way. But you know what? That tastes so good. What do I rate it? I don't know. I I I give it I give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. It's lacking a little bit in flavor, but and it's a little raw in the center. But other than that, it is really good. Like really really good. Um, ASMR. But yeah, no, this is really really good. Uh. This bit was just kind of a little undercooked, so yeah. Uh, but anyways, besides that, really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought about it, and let me know if you would like to see more of this. Now, obviously, this isn't something I can do every single time, uh, but it might be something I do like once a month. You know, once a month, just do a video like this, and I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, 8.5 out of 10, that's pretty good. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.